So it's starting already, the journey to becoming both unrecognizable and unshakable. I can dig this look on you. This you stepping into your highest potential, elevating, reinventing, weeding out anything that no longer serves you. These are all necessary steps needed for your evolution. You have down spiraled long enough. Allow yourself to detach from the negative cycles. Build a system to where even in the times of your extreme challenges, you're still able to focus on the bigger picture. You're still able to find and master your way up. Disappearing for the next six months is the opposite of what you should be doing. Your days in the shadow are long gone. Now is the time to inflict your presence and bring your A-game. No more cowering behind closed doors, wondering what people are going to think about what it is that you're doing or who it is that you're becoming. You lose sight of your own purposeful reality when you are more concerned with how you're being perceived in everybody else's. You have to start doing the work. Challenge yourself. Show up. Give yourself six months to only focus on your plan A. No excuses, no fear, just unshakable assumptions and you living in your wishes fulfilled. Now, I'm not saying that you have to go out in the middle of the street screaming and shouting, rejoicing in your rebirth or whatever, but sometime soon you're going to have to step into the light. You're going to have to be clear about what it is that you're doing and get serious about becoming the path in which you seek because that is the only way that your dreams are going to come into fruition. No one should be questioning what it is that you do, what your interests are, or what you stand for because it should all be evident in your work. If you want to be taken seriously as a writer, an engineer, content creator, an artist, create something every day. Create something real every day. And it doesn't necessarily have to be for profit. Consider it as a donation to the Daily Karmic Bank, a forwarding of your manifestation. Remember that you aren't getting what you want simply because you want it, right? You're getting what you want because you are being a reflection of that thing every single second of every day. The law of assumption states that you will get what you want simply by living in and believing that it already exists in your life. And if you are listening to this for the first time or hearing this for the first time and you're thinking, oh wow, it sounds like living in a video game. Oh, the irony. We are all literally living in our own individual worlds. Our body is evidence of that. You just have to decide whether you are going to live in the program that was televised to you or you're going to create a life in which you are free in totality. That's mind, body, and spirit. While you're at your desk or staring at your computer screen or standing in the same spot for eight hours a day, think about what you'd rather be doing, being, or having. Know that it is all possible for you to be wherever you would like to be and have the reality in which you would like to have. And also know that the only person that is stopping you from experiencing that desired reality is yourself. You want to be conscious of your everyday thoughts, emotions, and habits. Ensure that you aren't operating from a space of negative programming. Realize the power that you have and focus on the things that you can control while your old self-concepts focused on who you were convinced you were. Your new self-concept is focused on who you were meant to be and who you inherently are. If your reality hasn't changed, it's because you haven't assumed that it has. You're going to have to get a little bit more creative, tap into that childlike space, allow your imagination to work for you. When you can envision yourself as the person of your dreams with the person, job, finances of your dreams, your reality begins to shift. Your state of being has so much more to do with how you're feeling and being than how you are thinking. The thinking and the visualization are just the things that you need to get to a point beyond your senses. All of these things in which you have control over, you have to keep moving and flowing. If no one has ever advocated for you or supported you, consider this your line of support. You are capable and worthy of unimaginable things, unimaginable success, abundance, the whole nine. You are worth it. Release this idea that you are helpless. Let go of the anger towards the people you feel have had the 
worst impact on you. Stop resisting the urge to feel. It is safe for you to feel you are safe in your body. No one can get under your skin or no one can stand over you. You are transcendent. Start becoming indifferent to the opinions, perceptions, and even actions of other people as you're on your way up. Because there are going to be some people still on the first floor trying to tell you who it is that you are because they haven't met you yet, this new version of you. They're still bound to their traumas, but ain't nothing wrong with that. That's their prerogative, but you have your own to attend to and your transformation is going to do all the talking. It took a lot for me to realize the importance of becoming love and only operating from a space of love and not stooping low or trying to match energy finding peace in every step, finding peace in every breath, like my life depended on it because it really did, right? If I'm not operating at my highest point, then my manifestations won't have a soft place to land. Understand that the next six months isn't just going to be about checking a few goals off the list, but setting yourself free indefinitely and lighting that forever flame that resembles you going towards your highest potential. So anger, hate, jealousy all of those low vibrations have no place for where it is that you are going you want to exude the energy of love exude the love that you wish to experience in your life and it's such a beautiful feeling i like to say that i am i'm in my high priestess era right i'm all about my balance and all about my purpose whether that be delivering people to a higher understanding or just allowing myself to expand in the likes of the cosmos either or it's really the same thing but that is my focus right now it's beyond the fact that i am no longer scared of the shallowness of the darkness but i'd much rather allow my presence to be seen heard felt in this lifetime not holding my breath in spite of regret waiting for the next if you have breath in your lungs you have options if you are here you can heal and experience your desired reality i want you to remember that so much can change in less than six months which is all the more reason to watch how you speak about yourself your circumstances and other people words are literal spells on a soul level there is no difference between you and i you and the next person because we are all essentially one the words you speak and think can easily reflect back to you so you want to choose them carefully if 2023 has solidified anything for me it is the fact that I am not only who I say I am, right, but what nobody else says, first and foremost, but the words that I speak, the way that I think, it directly manifests into my life. With a truth like that, why would I want to speak or think of anything that is not in my best interest? Why would anybody, why would you want to do that? In 2024, okay, you can dead that being realistic or keeping it real whatever that means okay because that is not that's another way to humble you and for you to keep your expectations low another way for you to stay within the box i want you to find things to be grateful for within your life right regardless of whatever is going on for you find things to be grateful for and understand that things aren't just happening to you right you play a bigger role in that and in the unfolding and happening of those things, find a way to expand yourself. I had to realize that nobody was coming to save me, okay? I wasn't just going to magically get out of the way or get out of the cycles that I had known for years, right? I was going to have to mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally remove myself out of its crosshairs if anything was going to change for me. Now, you can spend your time being the damsel and the villain of your life but just make sure you leave some room to be the hero as well whether that is you finding your soul tribe in your community and communing with them to make sure that you stay on track or you are your number one supporter in your journey of solitude either way make sure you stand ten toes down for you you are loved you are supported but you are still someone who has to do the work. This journey is going to require you to break the mold, to step outside of all of the things that you thought you needed to be. Smaller, quieter, more complacent. We're laying all of that down, throwing some dirt on top of it and bidding it 
good riddance, okay? Detaching from the perceptions, illusions, and expectations of the 3D has allowed me to accomplish the once unimaginable, okay? And the same is possible for anybody else out there. That rich reality is there for you. Just reach out and grab it. Thank you so much for watching. I trust that this video was helpful as always. If you liked the video, give it a like. Subscribe if you are already not subscribed. Connect with me in the comments and I'll see you on the next video.